split was when we began to get into the phase of, at the time, the church I was attending, which was an important part of my step, you know, in spirituality or whatever. We had put out a split CD with uh, Seasons in the Field and Pensive. And there was a lot of support going into it, but when a lot of the people at the church heard it, there was things said along the lines of, the only way music like this could come about is through possession of demons. I would say that is when Zayo began taking the turn towards what we are now, which is not necessarily, I would say, a Christian band, but a group of people who have Christian beliefs but understand that a lot of the church and a lot of the people involved in the church aren't good Christians. They look the part, they dress the part, they act the part, but when it comes down to it, their hearts, they have darkness in them just like everybody else does. The song Walk On By, Walk On Me on the um, Training For Utopia split the first few lines, Brett had written a song, lyrically, and I took like the first two or three lines and I wrote from there. And it had to do with an elder wife at the church who was a piano player and a worship leader, who was one of the ones that talked about how what we were doing was more or less demonic. I guess one of the things we always talked about in the struggle of this band was we were never Christian enough for the Christians and we were too Christian for the non-Christians. Skin Like Winter is actually about Jesse Smith. He called me on the phone one night when I was at home and was just telling me a lot of things that were going on in his life at the time that prompted me to write Skin Like Winter. And a lot of it had to do with somebody that was so intelligent and smart and insightful in the ways of you know, Christianity, but still at the same time, I had a lot of doubts and a lot of struggles. I never looked down on him in any way. It was just, this is right in the prime after Blood and Fire, and he was talking about how he was doubting his beliefs a lot. I started getting into some different stuff, like in my personal life, really questioning why, why I don't, why don't you smoke? Why don't you drink? Why don't you say what you think? You know, why are you this person was this person what you're supposed to be did you fall in love with Jesus did you fall in love with your church about that time my church freaking sold me out horribly somebody saw me smoking like some cigar or something and they sold all my drums I was in the praise and worship band and um, that was I went to a, a Bible college I was gonna go to and uh, pastor of the church says when all you homosexuals or wait, he said something like, when all you fags decide to come up here and get the homosexual spirit delivered from you and take out your earrings. And I was like, my God, like, what am I? This is, this is beyond the boundaries of a band. This is like who I am. And like, that was definitely when a giant seed of bitterness was planted inside of me. We were trying to be good people. We were trying to present a good message and do it in our own way. And we received no support and no help from either the Christian side or the secular side. So we're more or less this band in limbo where once again, you know, like we're getting no recognition in the secular scene because people didn't want to have anything to do with Christian music. They felt that, you know, punk and metal were, you know, partly inspired by the rebellion against organized religion, which we weren't necessarily a part of, but a lot of the people that were involved in that were just, you know, it was almost like, you know, key words, like they would hear the word Christian or, you know, they would hear the word God or whatever and instantly assume that we had, you know, these certain views and certain, you know, standpoints that we never, you know, we, we probably had more in common with those bands than we did with, you know, the other Christian bands. And that's really, I think, when Zayo started becoming what it is from that point on, which was a band of people that, had Christian beliefs, but also had a lot of opposition. There's this, it's so crazy because there's so many differences. Like, you know, you take a good Christian in America and a good Christian in Europe. In Europe, where it's more tolerant to drink and, you know, like swearing and things aren't as big as a deal and like, like tobacco and smoking cigarettes. You know, you, you start realizing that 
socially there's a lot of involvement that the reason there's a difference is because you know America Christ, American Christianity is these like Brady bunch values as opposed to like more true spiritual values that they carry in other countries there's a lot of opposition to the way that the church was treating people and I think that's where it all started was with the split because you know Skin Like Winter and Walk On By were both songs from a Christian standpoint, but kind of attacking at the same time Christian values in a sense. We're talking to all these kids that, you know, would have a tattoo or some piercings and they'd be kicked out of church. To me, accepting people, accepting people for no matter what they are is one of the top priorities, in my opinion, in Christianity and that wasn't being displayed by anybody. And it, you know, it, it made me sick. And I wanted to write about it. I wanted to, you know, not attack, you know, God himself or necessarily the Bible, but I wanted to attack the way things were being done in the church because I thought it was wrong. People cared more about your, you know, pre presentation, the way you looked and the way you dressed and you know, if you attended church every week as opposed to your actual spirituality. And to me, that's a farce, and it, it completely goes against everything we're trying to do. And uh, I think that's where, technically, Zayo began, in a sense of what it is today. Back in the day.